Hey everybody. So I review quite a few Bluetooth earphones on the channel. And honestly, except for a few standouts here and there, they all pretty much sound the same. They have the same features. Uh, but every now and then one comes along that has something unique about it. So I have something like that to show you on the channel today. Now this is a pair of Bluetooth earphones by a company called Tiamat. These are called Force and you can totally see where they're getting their idea or design cues from. Definitely looks like uh, a lightsaber handle. But in addition to having touch controls and coming with this charging case, these also come with two accessories that you can use with the charging case. I'm gonna show you what it's all about in a few moments. But first, thank you for checking out the Gadget Inspector channel. We're into all kinds of drones, all kinds of gadgets. If you're into that kind of stuff, you are in the right place, my friend. Please consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to click the bell or else you may never know when I upload new videos. It's kind of a little quirk with YouTube right now. Well, sit back, relax, and let's get on into this. Let's go. Okay, so here's the packaging. Uh, let's go ahead and get on in here and see what they're all about. There you go. Let's see what we get here. All right, so the first thing we are greeted with is the lightsaber looking charging case. <laughs> Definitely a unique look to it. Now, in my opinion, I think at this point, all Bluetooth earbuds should be coming with a charging case. And it's not only because they're great for keeping the uh, earbuds charged up, but since they're so small, you need something like this to keep, them, uh, to keep them in so you don't lose them. And we'll take a closer look at the charging case in a few moments. Let's see what else is in here. Another box. Okay, these are extra earbuds, and there's even some hooks in here. You can get that fit just like you want it. All right, here's the good stuff. Okay, here's the little flashlight module that I mentioned before, and we've got the fan in here as well. There's the fan. like so there's the USB what else we got in here micro USB cable for charging the charge case and lastly we have our instructions manual there you go nice and simple okay let's get a closer look at the device now now it has a it kind of looks like metal but I'm pretty sure this is just uh, painted plastic it has that gun metal look to it but it's definitely plastic I'm sure here's the micro USB port for actually charging the case and there's the USB port for charging other devices and actually also for powering the two modules and I'll show you that in a second now there's two indicator lights here on this side there's a green and a red right there and those are basically giving you your power indication levels now to open the case all you're going to do is rotate right here just rotate it and there you go and there are the earbuds as you can see the left and the right are labeled and these uh, have what you call uh, breathing lights so you can see them kind of pulsing there uh, they call them breathing lights not sure why uh, but the other thing about these is they are touch enabled. So all you have to do is actually just tap them to get them to function or to do a function. And you see the two uh, but do also have a microphone on them, those two little dots there. So to pause and play music, you're just going to tap the buds once, either one. Uh, that will also answer and disconnect calls. Once again, you have the microphone. Looks like there's a mic on each bud. To skip to the prior song, you're gonna double tap the left earbud. And to skip to the next song, you double tap 
on the right earbud. For Siri or whatever virtual assistant you have on your phone, you're gonna tap either earbud three times and that'll bring it up. To power them off, you just have to hold for five seconds and they will power down. However, you don't need to do that because when you put these back in the case, they'll go ahead and power down automatically. Now in a similar fashion, when you take these out of the case, they're gonna automatically power on. And then the first time you do it, they're gonna automatically pair to one another. And then it's going to go into pairing mode. So then it's gonna be looking for you to connect to your device. So let me go ahead and show you how to do this. So I'm gonna take the right earbud out. I'm gonna just put it in my ear because you do get audio feedback. And I'm gonna take the left earbud out as well and put it in. Okay, she just said pairing. Okay, so after she says pairing, you go over to the Bluetooth settings in your phone, find the Bluetooth signal, tap on it, and you will hear the lady say pairing successful connected. You're done, easy as that, very, very simple. Okay, so these earbuds have some of the main features I look for in Bluetooth earbuds. You know, the ability to pair these to more than one device at a time is a big deal for me. So if I wanna pair these to my iPhone and my iPad, I don't need to disconnect from my iPhone before connecting to my iPad. That's a big deal for me. And the other great thing is you can use one earbud at a time. I've had some that I've had to go through a whole bunch of steps just to use one earbud at a time. Now, one of the more important things about earbuds is how well they stay in your ears. Now these stay put fairly well, but I did have to make sure I seated them really good in my ears. Don't pop your eardrums doing this, but just make sure you push them into your ears for a snug fit. And you'll know, you'll know when they have that snug feel to them. You can also try some of the other bud covers to get the fit you want as well. I don't know if I would really be comfortable running around outside with these on though, because if they fall out, they might be really hard to find. Now, this little fan works really, really well actually. You'd be surprised. It's actually pretty powerful. It works pretty well just for personal use. And I've had it at my desk just to get some air circulating and it works pretty well. I'm actually pretty impressed by it. It is kind of loud, all right? Now to turn the flashlight on and off, you're gonna push this button right here. And as you can see, it's pretty bright, but it's not something that you're gonna use like uh, outdoors or something like that. It's, this I think will be good like if the lights go out in the house or something like that, or if you need to like uh, a little extra light when you're looking under your bed or in the closet or something like that. But um, it's just something cool to have. I, I don't know how much I'll actually use these, probably not very often. I'll probably use the fan a little bit more so uh, from time to time but nice to know it's there just in case I do need them. Okay, let me give you a few brief specs now. The charging case has a 1000 milliamp hour battery capacity and will run the fan or the flashlight for about an hour. You wouldn't wanna rely on this as a primary charger for other devices though, but in an emergency for a quick power supply, it works great for that. On a full case, you should be able to charge the earbuds four to five times. It has an IPX6 rating, so it's not waterproof, but water resistant. So it should hold up against sweat and light rain. It has Bluetooth 5.0, which is supposed to make the earbuds use less power, allow you to pair more than one device at a time, and give you better range. All right, all of that is cool, but how do they sound? Well, they sound really good, I'm not kidding. As I mentioned in the opening, most Bluetooth earbuds at this price point and even higher all sound about the same, but these provide the one thing I'm always looking for, bass. It's not that muddy sounding bass either. It blends in well with the highs and the mids and the volume is really good as well. I didn't find myself wishing the audio was louder with that said. In addition to the audio quality, what makes me reach for these before the other similar earbuds I have is the ease of use. The auto connect feature, the ability to pair to two devices, and they sound good, makes me appreciate these even more. All right, y'all, I hope you found this video helpful. 
Let me know what you think about these uh, Force earphones down in the comments. If you have any questions, let me know down there as well. And until we meet again, be good to somebody, be good to yourself, and I will see you in the next one. Later.